Okay, example number four, graph the following lines. Y equals negative X. Now, that doesn't might not look like it's Y equals MX plus B. Remember, we're dealing right now, the last couple examples in the last video, lines in this form, slope-intercept form, okay? Start at the intercept and then use the slope to get to the next point. This may not look like MX plus B, but it is. There's no B here, so you can kind of think of it as plus zero. That'll give you a starting point. And the slope here just says negative X. Remember, there's always a one in front of there if you want. So I can write the slope as negative one. I'm going to make that a fraction just to make it easier. And then the B value, of course, is zero. So now it's just like the previous two examples from the last video. I start at zero. Right, the slope's negative one. That means I go over one. I always start at the bottom and go over one. If there's a negative, I sign it up top. It tells me to get down. Okay, that means I go over one, down one. And those are my two points. Draw a line through those two points, and we're good to go. Something like that. Okay. Um, all right. So five and six are a little bit different. These are special cases. This is not y equals mx plus b, and this is not y equals mx plus b either, right? You may remember that from the last chapter that we dealt with these lines, x equals some constant, right? You were given the graph and asked to write what the equation was. Now it's just the other way around. x equals negative one. You might remember that has a slope that's undefined. It's a vertical line. Okay, and everywhere on this vertical line, the x value is negative 1. So that's all these points back here. x value negative 1 there, x value negative 1 there, and so on. Okay, so these are easy. You don't really have to do these plotting these points like I did. I'm just trying to show you that the x value is always negative 1. So basically, we just draw a vertical line right like that. Okay, and that's my answer. Okay, so look at the next one now. Y equals 2. You might remember this has a slope of 0 and is a horizontal line from the last chapter. Okay, so a horizontal line at Y equals 2, basically that's, here's the Y value of 2, right? Anywhere, anywhere along that has a Y value of 2, right? So it's going to be a line going through all those two points. So just remember, again, it's a horizontal line. Okay, the Y value there is always 2 as the x values change, all right? So, those, those are the two special cases. We've seen those before, so just try and remember. Y equals slope of zero from previous chapters, horizontal line. X equals some constant, slope undefined, vertical line, okay? 